lot of, a lot of uh, spots there at the end. Talk about, talk about that uh, strategy at the end, kind of fresh tires. Yeah, um, I think we were running long for a caution, and you know, we got one. Uh, I, I think we kind of weighed out right now, running through beforehand, and uh, I had passed two people on that race start, but I had fresh tires. I think I could have got to second, and I would have ran out of time to catch up on it, so I'm pretty bummed because I feel like I, I, I had just as good as them. So, uh, yeah. It seems like this has been kind of a trend over the last few weeks. It's been really you, the 11 and the 19, and some guys been running a front. Just what's it like kind of being in the conversation just about every week, especially having one last week? Yeah, I, I think, you know, there is a pretty, uh, pretty minute group of people that run in front every week. Um, yeah, I mean, you start to realize how the people race, and they all race with me, and you start to pick up on tendencies. So hopefully one of these weeks I can get to my advantage. So, yeah, keep on doing it. I know um, for a young guy, five five races in five weeks, um, that might not be what you're, what you're always used to coming up from Mark and everything like that. Um, what did you learn about yourself and uh, your team through these five weeks? I mean, I, I love racing this week. I feel like good and bad results the previous week, and it's a clean slate the next. So uh, luckily, all my results have been relatively good. I think my worst was seven. So I wish we had another five week stretch. So it would suck. But yeah, learn to see the consistency of the Alright man, go. Anyway, third place finish out here today. Missed out on an extra 50, extra 100 grand, but you're going to be going for 100 grand in four weeks in uh, Nashville. What's going to be the key to bringing home the six figures there? I think it's just doing the same thing we've been doing. We put ourselves in position. Last year, we got the pull there and finished third. So, um, yeah, I think just keep on doing what we're doing. You know, you can always find a little bit extra speed in yourself. So, I look forward to doing that and just keep on doing what we've been doing these last couple weeks. Yeah. What's well, basically the key to actually... The key to actually being able to run down Heim was being able to get a good restart so you didn't you didn't spot him too much time out there. Yeah, I mean he fired off really good, he had a fast truck. But yeah, I think I just probably needed to be plopped in second there on that restart to have a shot. And yeah, this place it takes a long time to build a run, so pass. Uh-huh. Alright, thank you. Being able to knock out some top fives. I guess I know you want more, but it's like just nice to kind of have maybe uneventful races in some ways. Yeah, for sure. I think that we made the most of our day. I didn't think we had a fifth place truck. Honestly, track position was just really, really strong here. And I think I, if I would have got out front early in the race, I kind of would have known that. But in the dirty air here with this truck, it's just really bad. Especially early in the race where everybody's running the bottom. Like, you have to run the bottom. And you know, I started widening out some. I started running the top through three and four, a little higher than one and two. And I was able to make some mo moves and moves in ground. But uh, nonetheless, great day for everybody at Pro Motorsports. Chris Lawson was uh, my crew chief today. He did a great job kind of flipping the, the end right there to get us in track position. And uh, it seemed like wherever you came out of the pits is about where you were going to run. So um, they did a great job putting me up there. It was a lot easier to pass on pit road than the racetrack. Uh, just thank you for Infinity Communications, all my guys, for getting me out here on the racetrack. And uh, we need more finishes like this every single week in the system. I haven't seen your points, but how do you feel before? Was it four races? Oh, yeah, we got we got to win a race. That's uh, yeah, that's all we're doing. That's all we're focused on. And you know, I don't even know where we're at in the standings, but, but uh, I'm still learning a lot. I think if I would have known what I knew at the end of the race today, at the beginning, and would have applied that, I would have organically been able to pass on the racetrack a little bit better. But uh, nonetheless, a big learning day for me and my guys. But we brought it home in one piece and solid top five finish. Wait, this is your second top five finish in the last three races. You know, I know it's not a win like you guys probably need to make the postseason, like you mentioned, but does this just build confidence and make you feel better about your chances of winning a race going forward? It is. I think we're just finally hitting our stride like we need to. I mean, we showed that at, at Wilkesboro. I mean, I think we're going to finish the top, inside the top ten pretty easily at, at Charlotte. Had bad luck. And uh, that's been the story of the season, just bad luck. But I think the past, you know, four or five, six races, we've really just started to hit our stride, be more consistent. I'm getting more used to the truck. Me and my crew chief are bonding better. And uh, it just really takes time. I mean, I'm a rookie. I'm still doing the best I can. And I'm just glad to be out here on the racetrack racing with these veterans. Is the track your dad won at? Does it resonate more for you to run well with a track that I know is special to him that he won here at? Yeah, I mean, it, it would have. Would, a win would have been really nice. Uh, he gave me a lot of pointers and tips, but you know, the racetrack's changed a lot since back then. Just the way the trucks are, the way how bad dirty air is. You know, back in the day, you used to be able to just run right up on somebody, no problem. You know, some front ends were this high off the ground all the time around the track. So uh, a lot different, but you know, he taught me a lot about the shifting points and, and how to how to work the track and other people. So thankful to him. But yeah, a win would have been amazing. First time out there in this truck, um, was it everything you thought it would be? I mean, kind of talk about how your day went. Oh yeah, super happy how uh, obviously how it went. 
it's it's tough out there competition. You know, every they fight for every position. You have to create runs. So so there there's a lot of learning to do. Super happy with that P9. Uh, that's definitely what we exp we wanted to a uh, solid result. Everything to work on on our favors and, and it did. No, so super happy. Uh, show speed. Everybody aspired to a great job uh, on the truck and everybody. So. Did you feel like you you learned more about the truck as the race went on? Yeah, for sure. I learned so much throughout the run. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you said, like mostly aero. Uh, but yeah, it's just it, it was a good learning day, and you know, obviously have a good result on there. It's, it makes it so much better. So, so got, what's kind of next for you? I mean, next yeah, steps here for you? Stuff over there, so uh, sure. Yeah, I think uh, obviously we wanna we wanna see how how it goes. Uh, we wanna do more truck starts for sure. Uh, and yeah, but this is a very good starting spot. All right, Luke. Today was uh, an interesting day out there for you. You had the early spin, but you took advantage of some good pit strategy to take home a top 10 finish. How would you describe your first start in the trucks today? Yeah, just early on was inexperience. Uh, I caught myself lacking underneath. Uh, I think it was the 33. I'm not really sure who it was, but uh, just lack of experience with aerodynamics and these trucks. And, um, you know, other than that, we had a, a good day. I got stalled out early in traffic, and, and that slowed us down a little bit. But um, great call by Josh Hankish to, to leave us out late as possible there and uh, get, a, get a late caution. That's kind of what saved our day and, <laughs> and made it turn into a better day. So uh, just can't thank all these sort of sense, Store Sport, uh, Ford, everybody what everybody on this team and what they do for me, uh, Jason Ileski, David Pepper, Duke and Rhonda Thorson, um, everybody that helps me out, and we'll keep on plugging away. Oh, were you guys able to make some adjustments on that final stop, or was it to move up uh, the four positions after the restart, or was it more of just having the fresh tires? Yeah, I mean, we got a lucky break with the late caution running good, and um, that helped us a lot for track position. I felt like track position was really everything, um, just because it was so tough to pass back there, and uh -huh. uh, we just went back and forth multiple times, but made it a little bit better and, and freed it up for me at the end and um you know we got to drive past a couple guys at the end and ended up 10 so i'll take it all right is this your only scheduled race in the 66 this year or are we going to see a little bit more uh, right now it's the only scheduled race but we're going to keep working at it and keep plugging away and keep getting better and hopefully i'll be back in the 66 this year all right sounds like a plan thank, thank you. you very much thank you. luke hi i'm christopher dehardy with frontstretch.com if you enjoyed what you just saw hit the like button and subscribe for some more great racing content